my 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 gemini what is going on baby it is scorpion red several i am back at it again yes indeed one time for the one time to let you guys know what energies are surrounding you for the month of june 2019 thank you guys so much for clicking this video i am going to skip the long intro today because <laughs> as y'all know y'all i'm a little broke up and stuff and i just do not feel like doing a long intro today um i don't if you guys cross watch y'all can check out the other videos to find out information about patreon um i will post the video on youtube when it's really really ready up and loaded i'm probably not even going to get to the patreon until after i get all of these readings out this week i'll probably be um rocking and rolling with that and you know doing the test runs and everything next week so you guys look out for patreon if you guys want to book all my booking links and everything is in the um, description and is in the about tab. Make sure that you guys book and, and then link with me. So make sure that you click the booking link, which is Scorpion Red Tarot, and simply book me. And then my Instagram link is directly under that so you can send me a message on Instagram. Or if you don't have an Instagram so that we can do the video chat for your video um, reading you can send me a message on um, Google Hangouts using my email, um, scorpionreds at gmail.com. All right, let's get into the reading, you guys. I'm going to try to make it a little short today. Um, and I'm pretty sure you guys probably don't mind a long intro. So <laughs> let's get into the prayer. All right. Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here today for the sign of my Geminis, my, my, my. How we are so blessed, Father God. Thank you so much for this new transition in our life. Uh, it's the springtime, and it's our season. <laughs> it is Gemini season, indeed, indeed, indeed. Shout out and happy birthday to all my beautiful, beautiful Geminis. Many blessings to you, and just positivity, prosperity, abundance, love, life, and laughter, and happiness. Peace and tranquility to you for the rest of this year, my dear. Um, please accept it and receive it in the name of Jesus. Father God, please give us continuous blessings. Father God, please can give us continuous insight. Father God, continue to give us continuous strength. Father God, and just allow us to walk by your side and just try our best every day to just, you know, walk forth in the wisdom that you instill in us every day and just be the best that we can be. Father God, please give the sign of Gemini guidance and thank you so much for just helping us just be radiant and successful and just determined and just reaching for freedom, Father God, because I surely hear the word freedom in my head. I feel like some of you guys have freed yourself and you guys are basking in the enjoyment of your freedom and just, um, just want to say shout out to all my ladies, shout out to all my queens, and this is your year. And don't forget, do not forget, 2019 is the year of the divine feminine. It is the takeover. The wait is over. So if anyone's still waiting on something, the wait is over. It's time to take back our happiness and take over the rest of the year in the name of Jesus. Father God, please give us guidance for my beautiful, beautiful Geminis. Thank you so much for all of the blessings and the lessons that you've given us in the past, present, and future. Please give us continuous guidance for how to move forward. Thank you so much. Give us guidance for my Geminis for June 2019. All right, let's get into let's see what kind of special unicorn that you are. What kind of star that you are today, honey? Leadership. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I do like green eggs and ham. Come on through the day. It's a step into your leadership. Share your message inspire and empower others okay gemini look we being leaders today we're being leaders today we like uh-uh we ain't for the bullshiggity okay we bought that green <laughs> we bought that green you we already know we already know gemini's love the money gemini's love the money for the love of money listen oh <laughs> I just thought about the words for that song. For the love of money, people will steal from their brother. For the love of money, they will rob their own mother. Do things, do things, do things, bad things, baby. 
almighty dollar. I really do feel like those words have something to do with this reading. I really do feel like those words have something to do with that reading. I feel like it's someone in y'all energy that y'all feel like it is just someone in y'all energy that y'all feel like they 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 would just do anything for the money. They would do anything for the almighty dollars. You know what I'm saying? And you guys are taking leadership. You guys might have freed yourself from that situation. You're like, huh, y'all not taking my dollar. Huh, stepping into leadership. Share your message. Inspire and empower others. Uh-huh. For the love of money, people will steal from their brother. For the love of money, they will rob their own mother. Do things, do things. Good things, bad things. Don't let money change you. Oh, that's it. Don't let money change you. Hey, hey, hey. Do things, do things, do things. Bad things, baby. Almighty dollar. Mm. Yes. Eight of swords. Hmm. Six of Cups. Page of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah. Two things, two things, two things. Bad things, baby. Told y'all y'all freed y'all Don't let money change you. Secrets. You might be holding some secrets. The high priestess next to the moon. Yeah, you high as something, baby. King of Wands in reverse. Y'all might be dealing with a Sagittarius, a Leo, or Aries. Fire sign. Or just someone who might just, might be a non-committal male. You burning the scroll. I feel like it's something that y'all hide in. I feel like someone has like deleted messages or like they burnt some messages or like some evidence or something so someone don't so they can't find it I feel like someone is being called out you see these animals and it's like and like I said the, the moon is like literally calling this 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 water sign either a Pisces or a Cancer out of the water like either this person is being called out or, or the Gemini is being called out but someone's burning the scroll they're burning the secrets they don't want because this person something is being illuminated to this something is being illuminated to this Pisces or this Cancer about what this high priestess is hiding but the King of Wands is probably hiding something too. And I think both of y'all are hiding something. There's definitely some secrets. I'm probably about to pull out this. Yeah, mm hmm. Nope. We about to. Nope. This about to get. Nope. This. Mm mm. Some of y'all, I'm sorry, my babies, but some of y'all might not get used because we about to get real friggity. We about to get real friggity today. We about to get real freaky today. We about to get all the way up in this shit. All right. So. There is a, a, a Gemini or someone is dealing with a Gemini right now. They feel like someone is just like kind of has some type of mental manipulation. Just skills with them where they're just like bound. They're bound. They feel like they're trapped, but it's like it's all mental. And I feel like someone really has their grips on someone else mentally and it's like they can't see their goal it's like that the person is blinded by everything that this person is doing it's like they're in a cage they're in a mental prison almost where it's like they can't figure out a way how to kind of get out of this situation where the ground isn't stable it's like you almost walking in quick quicksand it's like regardless you trap okay because it's like the the 
the guard or whoever this person, whoever this person, whoever this dark person, there's someone in this energy that's dark that is, there's someone in this energy that's no good or it might be. I'm hearing like the lesser of two evils or something like that. I feel like there's both, both people, both people were holding secrets. Both people got something going on here. I just feel like it's the lesser of two evils. But the high priestess, even though she has something to hide, she's hiding something as well. You see what I'm saying? She's hiding something because you see she's burning that scroll. So can't nobody read the messages. Can't nobody read the secrets. Can't nobody find out what's truly going on with her. Because it's a good possibility that she went searching, trying to find out. Because it's, it's a level with this high priestess. I feel like she secluded herself right now at this moment. But there's something. It's either she's secluded mentally from this person. And I am kind of jumping around in the spread a little bit. Y'all just roll with me. It's like either this person is secluded herself mentally. And she's still dealing with this person. And she's still lurking around trying to figure out what the secrets is. That has to do with this king of wands. Or she's holding secret that she's burning. And hiding the evidence of her secrets. Because this person is holding secrets too. So not only does. Is he uncommittal. And just running around doing. He belongs to the world. He got his own secrets. But. She ain't innocent neither. And in between the both of them. It's a lot of anxiety. It's a lot of unsaid. Unspoken mysteries about what's going on with each other i honestly feel like this is a very toxic situation like both of y'all no good like honestly and in between you guys it's a whole shitload of unspoken words unsaid secrets gossip rumors a lot of hidden shit that you guys don't know about each other other than the fact that this one is in and out. It might be a whore and a player. And it, this one, it just holds on very tightly to whatever the fuck it is that she's hiding. But this person is hiding something. This person is hiding something. This person is hiding something. And I, and I feel like that person most definitely did some investigation to find out what this person was doing. I probably was just trying to hide the evidence, but this person is hiding something too. This person is hiding something too. I feel like the high priestess, this is the high priestess, but see, that's not even really high priestess energy, but I'm just, just rock with me. I feel like whoever this person is in this high priestess energy, that is hiding their own set of secrets. I do feel like the reason why they're hiding their own set, set of secrets is because this king of wands, this fire sign, they kind of dipped into their life and just unraveled their environment. You know what I'm saying? They put they they it, they put a lot of like it's a very unstable grounding. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of mud. It's a lot of mud being thrown. It's a lot of rolling around in the mud, in the dirt, in this situation. Like seriously. And it's like y'all just keep walking in quicksand, getting deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper with each other. And I feel like this high priestess is upset with this dark man because she's in a mental prison. She feels like she got kind of pushed in a mental prison with this person. And this person knew what they were doing. And this person, you know, the way she feels is... I don't really have no intentions of staying here for real, for real, for real. But I just want to make sure I got mental control over you. I'm going to go ahead and push you in this little cage. Now, you just sit here and be good until I get back. But I'll be back. I don't know when I'm going to be back, but I'll be back. You just stay there. I just want you where I just want you where I want you. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like that high priestess. Mm-mm. She ain't really like about. She, she really didn't like that. This was a situation where. She was pushed in the situation mentally, but she don't know how to get out of it. She feels and she's mentally entrapped in the situation. Um, but she's not trapped in it. It's just her thoughts. 
Just her thoughts. But you're in a situation with someone who you gave a lot to emotionally, but they're not receptive and giving that shit back to you. You know what I'm saying? It's not fair giving and receiving. Um, I feel like this situation is triggering. You might have had a relationship in the past that was just like this. You see what I'm saying? Um, or maybe this is someone that you knew when you were kids or something like that. And maybe y'all tried to get in a relationship with each other. I don't know. And this is just not working out. It's just like, you know, we were better just as friends, as playmates. You know, it's like together in a relationship, you holding secrets, I'm holding secrets. It's a whole bunch of stuff lurking in the middle that don't. I feel like it's a lot of shit. Look. Between this dog and this dog, there's a river. It's separating them two. It's something. It's like a watery a wire, a watery pit. It's a watery grave. It's like an emotional grave, you know? And I feel like you guys are most definitely in separation. There were two big time moments that happened. Two big, two biggies. That happened in this relationship that like literally almost destroyed or did destroy and put you guys in separation as you see the two dogs are not standing on the same playing field you see what I'm saying and the moon is calling the the crab out or the lobster whatever the hell this is I, this represents a cancer or Pisces or whatever Something is being illuminated where this person is having is being called out on you know what I'm saying? It's being called out. Like come on out, come on out, come on out. I, you know, it's just like I feel like there's a lot of shit that's about to come on out. There's a lot of shit that's going emotionally rock. Or there's a lot of shit that did come out. I I don't think so. I think there's a lot of shit that this one is burning. This one is burning the secrets because they're being called out. I, I feel like both of you, on both sides of the fence, both of it, both whatever the fuck both of y'all are hiding, it's coming out. It will come and hit the motherfucking fan this month on both ends, on your side of the fence and your side of the fence. You see that this is split in the middle, okay? All of this shit that y'all been trying to hide that was that that's going to cause emotional disarray. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. You and you. I don't feel for no fucking... I don't... Uh-uh. I, 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 I feel... I don't, neither one of y'all are innocent. But someone need to take leadership, and I feel like kind of just need to step into your leadership, share your message, and inspire and empower others and liberate others. I really do feel like... Both of y'all knew from jump. I feel like both of you guys were probably immature. Y'all knew each other from when y'all were younger or something like that. Y'all know each other since y'all were kids. Y'all might have known each other in the neighborhood or might have known each other from school or something. This situation is a direct reflection of a situation that you've been in in the past. And I feel like the Gemini knows better. Like, you've been through this before. If you ain't been through this before, you've seen this type of shit. Because I felt like... You've done this before where you've had to burn the fucking secrets. Like, now, come on now. Like, you've done this before. You've done this before. It's something that you burn it and you hide in. It's something that this Gemini or whoever the female is in this situation. I don't know if this is the Gemini. I mean, but it's, listen, I, I don't know. Whoever the female is in this situation, this person has got rid of the evidence. It's like this person got rid of the evidence and they sitting on it. I feel like this one feels like they're smarter than this one. This one is smarter than this one. They feel like what their secret is, it'll never come out. Like you'll never find out. Like you'll never find out. You too stupid and you sloppy. This high priestess feels like this person pushed them into a situation where 
they knew that they would not be able to stand on their own as you're seeing unstable ground and it was going to be a mental prison. You had no intentions on being with me. You were hauling around. You were being in and out. You were doing whatever the fuck you want to do. This remind me of some shit from my childhood. Or I feel like the only reason why this person even stuck it in with you like that is because y'all knew each other since y'all were young. And this situation wasn't about that amount of nothing. And I feel like both of y'all knew that shit from the beginning. And it's just like, I feel like this, both of y'all are like extremely toxic to each other. Hmm. That bitch. Let me see what we got going on in love. Let me pick out one of these. Let me got us in love. And I had a bug here. When you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. I feel like that the, the reason why they're saying that is because I really do feel like someone here, they were all about the green. Someone here was all about the green. And that's why they said don't let money change you. Mm. Again, when you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. So I, I want this to be a message to you guys like don't date and deal with people for financial gain. You can't take none of that shit with you. Only thing you, you, that you take is your memories. So if you're willing to go through this type of relationship, this type of shit right here. When you having to burn secrets, it's a lot of like past trauma. You know, I feel like this is. I feel like someone might need to go seek some counsel. Like they, like it's like something that they need to talk to someone about in their childhood. It's it's some it's some it's some, it's some it's some secrets. It's some secrets. I don't know if it has to do with something that happened to you when you were a child or what. It says criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are, and your relationship will magically transform. Okay. Again, criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are and you and your relationship will magically transform. Like I told y'all, both of y'all, it's a lot of secrets between the both of y'all. And one burnt their secrets, one burnt the evidence and they feel like they're smarter than the other because there's no trace of their evidence. And they're just trying to call them out on their bullshit and trying to hide their shit. And that's why I like criticize. Okay. Acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times, we must accept things as they are. There is no point in trying to change that which is beyond our control. I feel like you can't change people. You cannot change people. Playfulness. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together and remember love is the greatest healer. Okay? Basically, what I'm getting here about this relationship, um, what I'm getting here is like, it's not about money, you know, and, and I feel like if y'all, if someone went into this relationship looking for money, I mean, clearly, I don't see no money here. And I see the Ace of Pentacles being in the reverse. So that's basically showing me that this is something that never even really got off of the ground good. You know what I'm saying? Like... Y'all need to go back to the planning. Y'all, whatever plans that you had, the Ace of Pentacles in reverse is saying you got to scrap that whole plan and go back to the drawing board and figure something else the fuck out. You see what I'm saying? Because, like, that wasn't the answer or it's not going to get you to where it is that you really want to be. Where's my other deck? Because I want my shadows deck. What's going on in the shadow? No, we can go ahead and then with my shadows, y'all. Because we about to get into it. We about to get real frickety. We about to get real frickety. 
give me guidance of what's going on in the shadows in this situation because I feel like it's some like real dark, deep, hidden mystery or secret. And I want, I'm nosy. I want to know what the fuck is going on. And I know it's a lot of cryptic hidden shit here. And ain't nobody going to change. It's nothing going to heal itself if people are uh, like high and shit. It's a lot of hidden shit going on. Please tell me the secrets that's going on here. What is being hidden under that moon? What is being hidden? What is being hidden? Because someone needs to take leadership. What's being hidden? Give me guidance. What's being hidden? Please give me guidance. Ooh. Ooh, vengefulness. Vengeful. Wow. Wow, wow. Give me guidance. What's hitting? Elusive. Playing their cards. I feel like someone is just playing their cards back. Playing their cards right to get revenge. And right now they just laying back. Kind of like plotting. Stagnant. What's going on in this? What's, what's, what is going on? Fick, oh, Lord Jesus. Mm, mm, mm. Honey, that ain't good. Mm. Your stagnation. They're dealing with someone who's unavailable and secretive. And I feel like that's what. That's, that, that, that's where that vengefulness comes from. I feel like. I feel like. Almost like a mirroring of each other's energy or something like that. Like this person ain't shit and this person ain't shit neither. Or I don't know. Or like maybe this this person, this Knight of Wands, brought out the worst in the High Priestess or something. I mean, because the High Priestess be having her bullshit with her too. You know what I'm saying? She most definitely got her bullshit and her tricks and her little shit with her too. She's a little trickster too. But she's smart enough to burn the evidence. Whatever she's been going through is putting her in a place where she's vengeful. And she might be elusive right now. I feel like you guys, and like I said, the high priestess is someone who's withdrawn. So she's withdrew herself from this situation because she's plotting. She's planning her cards right. Y'all situation is stagnant anyway. So she's sitting back getting her cards together. Trying to figure out how she's about to play her hand. So she might be really elusive. So if... If the King of Wands in the reverse has been trying to contact the High Priestess and you haven't been able to reach her, that's what the High Priestess does. They're secretive. They're elusive. They're non-predictable like you. You know what I'm saying? Secretive. Mm hmm Secretive. So, there's a lot of stagnancy. There's a lot of... It's like... To be seen and not heard. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can watch my moves, but I don't want to talk to you. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I feel like this person isn't talking because I feel like they might accidentally spill what they up to or some shit like that. It's like, they want to be seen and not heard. You, you know? That's even like someone creeping around. You know what I'm saying? Like trying to dig and find secrets and stuff like that. They want stealth mode. You know, they don't want you to hear them. But they need to be aware and see what's going on. You understand what I'm saying? There's a level of unavailability there. I feel like this person is, is looking... Person feels vengeance. Someone is being elusive. And the other person is sitting back looking but not saying nothing and trying to figure out how to play their cards right. Because someone is unavailable and they're trying to figure out what, what what's going on. This person has a mask on why they're being so secretive. I feel like there's someone that has an obsession with this. That they someone is obsessed and fixated 
with the other person and it looks to be the female um and i feel like this is something that you really need to work to get yourself out of um yeah because i want you guys to look at this card in the upright and look at that candle and remember that's that's the high priestess up there This could represent like a deep-rooted fixation or someone who had a deep-rooted fixation with someone and they're trying to stop being so fixated on this person because they feel foolish. They feel foolish. I do feel like with that moon card and what I'm seeing right here, what's going on in the dark, was being hidden. I definitely do feel like it was it was someone who was fixated, who was like beyond fixated with the person there. Someone who's being unavailable and elusive and there's a stagnant stagnancy in the relationship. And someone was trying to figure out why the other person is being so secretive. They feel beyond foolish about getting in this situation and it and it's driven them to a point of, of vengeance like you know what i'm saying like they um i feel like they feel like they're being i don't know like they can only see what's going on like they can't speak what they seen or or they're, or they're not allowed to speak to someone please give me additional guidance is there anything else going on in the, in the, in the dark that we need to know about mm-hmm Trying to guard their mind. I'm trying to guard their mind because they're they're praying for new beginnings. Mm hmm But they just feel like they're not able to fill this void. Like you're not able to fill this void of this person. And I feel like that's why it's driving you to this vengeance. And you're trying to be elusive because you only can see and not speak to this person. This person is unavailable. This person is secretive and possibly you might be wearing a mask or somebody's wearing a mask or maybe you're just being secretive about the facts that you trying to get over this toxation this fixation with this person because you feel foolish and you're trying to guard your mind but you just can't figure out a way to fill this void give me guidance Yeah, I just, and I'm really do feeling like someone really does need to. Someone really needs to take leadership and just kind of, oh, sorry. Someone really needs to take leadership and realize, like, it ain't about no money. Number one, it shouldn't be about money. You know what I'm saying? Because it doesn't look like no one was offering no money to begin with. It's really about the time that's being invested. And do you trust and do you really care about the person that you... If there's a whole bunch of secrets that's being held between the both of y'all. Y'all don't trust each other. Like, you guys, you both... Like I said in, in the beginning, like you... Excuse me, you both are walking in a watery pit of quicksand. It's like he's help, he's helping pushing you there, but he got to still try to walk back through that shit himself and hope he get out. You see what I'm saying? So it's just like, and don't let nobody, I feel like whoever this person was like kind of bought the worst out of you or something like that. And it's like now you're trying to take leadership. I keep hearing, don't let money change you. Oh my dollar. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, so let's see what this says here. 
Ooh, y'all got a different chair because I am on my back hurting. So this is 222. And I really don't try to read these in reverse, but this came out in reverse for some reason. It says partnerships and balance. Pay attention to the new people entering your life and take time to balance your time and energy with existing ones. So I feel like maybe this person is like someone that's maybe a permanent person in your life at this moment. So I feel like you web. Cosmic plan. Whoever this person, you guys done got yourself tangled up in this web, but I feel like spirit made this happen for a reason, this connection. You need to stop trying to like force your dominance over this person. Someone is trying to like force their dominance. Spider, yeah, like someone was a spider and they someone trapped somebody. Someone, someone trapped somebody, and I feel like right now, you, you, whoever this person was that tried to, to, this is what happened at first. Okay, the itsy bitsy spider. Okay, because they were trying to have a certain level of dominance. They weaved a web, a cosmic plan to kind of like trap somebody. Do you understand what I'm saying? So someone trapped somebody. I don't know if it was the King of Wands because the High Priestess feels like the High Priestess feels like the King of Wands pushed her into a watery grave or you know what I'm saying like a quicksand pit with a prison in it. Whereas like you're in. The prison, but even if you try to get out of prison, you gotta make us. You gotta get out of the quicksand. So it's like someone planned this, like trapped this person because they wanted to express and have a, a, a place of dominance. But now, for whatever reason, it's like they're paying attention to the partnerships and balances, or they're having to the balance partnerships right now. And it's like you're having to pay attention to the new people that are entering your life and taking time to balance your energy with existing ones. And even with this being in reverse, this this is like saying that possibly you regret the new people that came into your life and you ain't trying to balance this shit out with these motherfuckers. Um, you feel like they're, you, you caught up in the web right now. But there was some type of cosmic plan behind this web. That's why it was created like this like there was it's a big plan i feel like spiritually there is a deeper meaning than even the person who drafted up this web you see what i'm saying because whoever drafted up this web whoever created this web it was to have dominance and have control to make sure that no one couldn't go nowhere you see what i'm saying to make sure that no one couldn't go nowhere but now it's like they wish that they kind of didn't do that because the little spider wove a web that it, I feel like it kind of trapped the both of them. Do you feel what I'm saying? What is it saying? Eyes revealing like I feel like you guys can see each other for who y'all are now. Like all has been revealed. Like I said, those secrets. The bridge. Reconciliation. Um, you guys are trying to like Bridge something. Y'all are trying to bring something back together. But I feel like the... I feel like the door is closed on it. Like, it, it's not going to transition. It's not... It's like... You're trying to bridge a gap. Certain things have been revealed about the situation. And... I feel like someone's trying to open up a closed door. You understand what I'm saying? It's a it's a transition that is being rejected or it's not being dealt with in an appropriate way for the door to open. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's like someone isn't learning something. Someone isn't learning something. 1111 in reverse. Spiritual awakening. You're on the right path, but this is in the reverse. So so was the two two two. If the door ain't opening because y'all not y'all not transitioning, someone is not 
whoever the person was that drafted up this plan, this web, you know, whoever the person was that tried to trap someone and try to control or try to have dominance over this other person and try to get them caught up in this web. That person see them for who they are. I think everyone sees everyone sees everyone clearly now. But for some reason, y'all still want to be together. For some reason, you still want to reconcile with this person. Regardless of the fact that you know he's... The King of Wands belongs to the world. The, the King of Wands would never belong to you. And it's like, as smart as the High Priestess is... Why play that game? You know what I'm saying? That's not really being a high priestess and being spiritually awoken like that. Someone needs financial support. There you go. Like I said, for the love of money. I feel like this is all behind financial support. Ground. They go that ground. Remember I told you the watery ground? Ground and stability foundations. Yeah, this was all about money. This was all about money for someone. I feel like someone trapped someone because they need it. They needed financial support, ground and stability, foundation. Green. <laughs> the green, I told you, was about the fucking money. This whole relationship was all about the money. Wow, that's funny and shit, young. And I was thinking, for the love of money, people will steal from their brother. For the love of money, they will rob their own mother. Do things, do things, do things, bad things, baby. Don't let money change you. Ooh, ooh yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, I don't think the money got you anywhere. Because it's a web you're trying to get out of right now. It's like you ain't even trying to control this situation no more. You ain't even trying to make an effort in this love situation no more. Like, you don't even want to do it. You're retreating. Retreat. Paying attention to the red flags. Ooh. You're having a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with this person. About this commitment. About this wedding. This commitment. It was a honeymoon phase. And now it's just like. You're struggling to free yourself. You see how you're trying to get out of that cage. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Let's see what the. Let's see what the Gemini. G Gemini. Let's see what the Gemini and their lover have to say to each other. What does the Gemini have to say to their lover? Yeah, this, this, this involves a wedding, a commitment. It was just a honeymoon period. And they're like, they over it. But I feel like they don't know how to free themselves. They said it is time to take back control of your life. But I feel like they don't know how to get out of this cage. Because like I told you, that Gemini felt like this person pushed them into this watery grave. To this watery prison. It says, oh, Gemini says I'm really bad at commitment. Mm. Gemini is really bad at commitment. I thought about reaching out to you, but then I stopped myself. I'm still haunted by my actions. I'm trying to do the honorable thing. Okay, well, maybe this was Gemini that did something wrong. Well, both, it's, I'm, I honestly, I feel like both people did something wrong. Both people did something wrong, though. Just put this shit on Gemini. Give me guidance. But Gemini said that they're really bad at commitment. So. What is this person that's dealing with Gemini? How do they feel? What do they want to say to Gemini? Gemini. 
I can't ignore the signs I'm receiving any longer. We will be together again. Your intensity frightens me and allures me at the same time. <laughs> I know you're right, but I need to come to my own conclusions. I feel like this... What is this? No other compares to you. All right. All right, Gemini. But it just seems like... It seems to me... Okay, so you guys got to figure out which side of the table that you're on. Now, when I pulled this, I said that this side was Gemini, and this is the, the side of the person that was dealing with Gemini. But you guys have to use your own discernment, only take what resonates, and you know what side of the table you're on. You know what I'm saying? You have, you, you, you're the white or you're the, or you're the black and red. But um, this person over here, which I, at that time, I, Gemini, they said that they're really bad at commitment. They thought about reaching out, but they didn't because of something that Gemini did. Their actions still haunt them, and they're trying to do the honorable thing. They're trying to do the honorable thing. I told you this person burnt the evidence so that this one wouldn't find out. But it's calling this one out on their bullshit, but hiding their own. This one said... I can't ignore the signs I'm getting any 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 longer. We will be together again. Your intensity frightens me, but allures me all at the same time. I know you're right, but I need to come to my own conclusion. And no other compares to you. I do feel like this person was being controlled by. I mean, we we seated this person. There was someone that trapped this person. And maybe that's why Gemini is saying I still I'm still haunted by they're saying I'm haunted by my actions. And it looks like there was some cheat there was some cheating too. Gemini says I'm really bad at commitment. And I and you know that the high priestess card is someone who is withdrawn. They are not around this person. It's just someone that's alone. So this makes sense. Hmm. Interesting indeed. Let's go. Let's go to the Game of Thrones. Can you give me some clarification on the situation, please? Clarification on the situation, please, about how these two lovers are feeling or what the current status is with these two lovers. Oh, the devil in reverse. I told y'all. There's most definitely the devil in reverse is right in the middle of the situation. I feel like both of y'all are trying to get away from each other. Both of you guys are literally almost, if not have already, almost destroyed each other. Like, literally. This person was holding secrets, burnt evidence. This person belonged to the world, hoeing around. There's a whole bunch of secrets in the middle of y'all that I feel like a lot of y'all don't know about. And that is eventually going to come out. And I feel like that might be the reason why. Because I feel like the Gemini has somebody else. Because the devil in reverse can represent a full-blown fucking affair with someone else. You know what I'm saying? And they're saying they're really bad at commitment. They're really bad at commitment. Wow. And I feel like both of you guys are trying to let go of each other. Because there is something in this situation that is bonding and tying y'all to each other. Clarify Gem Gemini's um, spread, please. Their words. The five of spears in reverse, yeah, like, there was most definitely um, competition. There was someone else in this situation, and I feel like, uh, yeah. This Gemini was talking to, like, several other people. There's a lot of gossip and a lot of rumors surrounding uh, this situation, and I feel like, you know, they're being addressed. There was, like, could have possibly even got 
physical you know what I'm saying or maybe got to a point where it almost got physical where people were finding out about each other and shit was getting a little chaotic and I feel like Gemini just like backed out of the situation the Hierophant in reverse yeah this person was most definitely living an untraditional lifestyle yeah could possibly been like some level of prostitution um or just very high level promiscuity uh-huh yeah most definitely over, over money. Over money. It's prostitution. 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 Sleeping with a whole bunch of people for money. Give me guidance about the one that was dealing with Gemini. God damn God damn. The king of coins in reverse. I feel like this person is just... It's just not a family man. I just don't feel like this person is a family man. Just not a family man. Three of coins. Yeah, I feel like this person was just looking for someone to help them um, build their foundation. You know what I'm saying? Like, they were looking for someone to kind of help them um, build a... A home environment or you know but there was a third party with this like I told both of them oh five of coins yeah this person was homeless like this person needed a place to stay this person isn't a family man this person was homeless that's what it was And then once this person realized that this one didn't have any money to bring to the table, this person went back out there home. That's crazy, brother. That's fucking crazy. Hey, yo, this shit is all fucking Aries. I've never seen no shit like this before in my life, young. You talking about some tea? This is your giving away your power, your power. Get out of your fucking head. You think someone is lying. That project or that person or that idea is waiting and fucking apologize. Wow. Wowzers. I'm about to hop up out of this joint because this shit, because I keep going with this shit because this shit is messy. This shit is double fucking triple dipple level fucking messy and like for real someone does need to take leadership and need to you know someone needs to step into a leadership share your message and and, and and you gotta do and you gotta be something different in this situation like i'm trying to tell you like you need to just fucking apologize okay seriously just do it like for real that person that project that idea is waiting Okay? It said get after that shit. The world has your back. I feel like just go ahead and fucking apologize to whoever that person, whoever that project is that you fucked up. Like whatever that, whatever it was that you should have been working on with a person or a project, that idea where you thinking that you should just get up and fucking apologize, it's waiting. Get up and do it. Like, take leadership, do it. You think someone is lying. And they are. You know that they are. Okay? You know that this person is lying. But get the fuck out of your head. Okay? Get out of your head. And get into your heart. Alright? It said it misses you. You're giving your power away. You're a badass. Act like it. I feel like just take leadership and just boss up on this situation. And just call shit out and just say what it is. It is what it is. I feel like there's definitely some shit that you hide in that is never going to come out. Like whatever... And to, I could go into it to find out what the fuck. Y'all want to find out what the fuck this Gemini is hot. Y'all holler at me for a personal reading. Because I definitely will give you the tea. Oh, and two. And let me let y'all know. We definitely got um a new segment that's coming out. That's why I moved some shit over to Patreon. Because I got this deck right here. And I started <laughs> a new segment called Sex Secrets and Lies, honey. Yeah. Mm hmm But that's going on over the Patreon because we cannot use these cards over here or you know, I will be putting the sex secrets and lies spread in my in a personal read and um on menu. Honey. 
there is some deep sex secret and lies going on here, bitch. If y'all want to book a personal reading, y'all go ahead and click that about tab. Book and then link with me. All right. Because on both ends, this one was just fucking with you because they were homeless. And they needed someone to help them build their foundation because they were financially fucked up. Bro. All right, y'all. Like, sheesh. Sheesh. Let me, let me give y'all one more spread before we roll up out of here, man. One more spread and then we about, we up out because I think I done did y'all a whole ass solid. Like, this was a good ass reading, y'all. God damn. Shit, y'all might want to cross watch whoever this um, Gemini is, this person is dealing with the Gemini. Watch the other person's reading and see if any of this tea come out. And the other person's reading. I've never advised cross watching before. But honey, there is like shit on both sides of the table. And like, I'm, I want to know. Like, what the fuck, yo? This shit is crazy. And my whole ass man, Ramsey in the middle. Ramsey is treacherous. Do y'all watch Game of Thrones? Do y'all know who Ramsey is? Ramsey tortured someone and made them, and made, and was making someone fuck his dogs and shit. Like, and was feeding people to their dogs, was 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 torturing people by making them fucking and, and, and was feeding people to his fucking dogs. Like this person was Ooh. Like I said, if y'all are in separation, I feel like there's separation for a reason because I feel and we already seen it, this vengefulness. I feel like whoever this whoever is Ramsey, whoever this one is. I feel like there's that that, that, that that water of separation. I told y'all, y'all see how this river is separating the two, the two animals. I feel like y'all are in separation and y'all not around each other for a reason because spirit is calling out a lot of whatever the fuck this shit that is hiding is coming out. Even, even the high priestess, your shit coming out too, baby. You can't hide nothing. You think you powerful. You're not that powerful. You can't hide nothing. Nothing from spirit. All of that shit about to get illuminated. You see this shit? All of this shit about to get illuminated. Some shit about to go down, y'all. Give me guidance. Oh, yeah. This, I told you there's going to be balance. There will be balance. There will be justice. <laughs> There will be justice. There will be balance in this situation. And, you know, when it comes down to spiritual, universal justice, God don't care to see your point and what you're trying to say. Only thing spirit will fuck about is facts. is about what happened. You understand? You can't lie. And they don't need to see what you're saying. They hold that sword of truth. In a scale of balance. And this shit about to be balanced right the fuck on out, honey. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This shit be balanced. Because at the end of the day, someone try to put up a front like they, like, listen, that they was coming and they was going to work on something and they're going to, you know, they ain't do nothing. They didn't do nothing but fuck up someone's reputation. I feel like there was someone that was like a bad little kid. Whoever was the bad little kid. There was an older one that I felt like might have possibly was trying to build something. But this person wasn't trying to build anything anyway. These are fictitious pinnacles. This is someone really working on something. You see what I'm saying? But whoever the one that tried to come into the situation and fake act like they were building something... They ended up bumping into this badass little kid. You understand what I'm saying? And this, they, they ended up getting into more trouble than what they, they barked up the wrong tree. They found Ramsey. They found Ramsey in reverse. Like, you understand what I'm saying? And now they're trying to get rid of Ramsey. They're trying to get away from this situation. And they're praying for karmic justice, for karmic balance. Because it's like, yeah, I know I really wasn't trying to work on nothing with this motherfucker. But I ain't think this shit was going to end up like this. Because whoever this person is that was dealing with Ramsey, them dealing with this person fucked their reputation up. People don't even look at them the same. 
people don't even value them like that anymore. It could even be like your family and friends don't want nothing to do with you because of this badass little kid that you brought around or some shit like that. And it's just like, you see this little boy, I don't feel like this, this little kid don't seem like he up to anything good or anything like this kid hasn't learned from any of their mistakes. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm-mm, mm-mm. Mm -mm. the sun is setting on whatever that situation is so this is the ace of wands so in a reverse but the sun is setting you know some little birdie is setting itself free you know cause they're not I feel like the passion the drive is gone it's just it's just like almost dead you know what I'm saying like nothing was rooted. Nothing really grew out of this situation. Like the sun is setting on this situation. Oh, and then the wheel of fortune in reverse, dear Lord. This is someone. These are two demons. Two demons. I told y'all. Two demons. Didn't I tell y'all? You ain't shit and you wasn't shit. Both of y'all. Okay? So a lot of progress and a lot of fortune might have stopped. So if you wonder why a lot of misfortune has been coming to you. I told you guys seen all of this shit. And for you guys watching, if this doesn't apply to you, all of the readings are not going to fit all of the time. So for the people that this energy is for, they know who this is for. And I'm pretty sure their comments is probably dry as fuck. Because I know ain't none of y'all comments saying, yeah, this is me. Because both of y'all was fucked up. You see that Sphinx in the middle? They stopped that wheel of fortune. So all of the fortune that was coming into you, like maybe when you met this person, shit was good. But now I feel like shit has just got down bad. God is making y'all face y'all demons. These are not nice people on the side of this thing here. They're demons. And you see how that Paul has stopped the wheel? Yeah. You two going to have to face each other or, or, or y'all going to have to face your inner demons or whatever before y'all can move forward. Whatever. London Bridge has fell. London Bridge has fell. I feel like there's someone that needs to boss up and take leadership and kind of get in front of this situation. Um, because spiritually it's going to be resolved regardless if you like it or not. All of this shit, all them secrets... Look, this one is saying um, to catch me, catch me if you can. I'm the gingerbread man. Yeah, okay. 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 You can't hide everything. You can't hide everything. So anyway, um, yeah. I'm going to just go ahead and go. Because <laughs> this was crazy. If y'all want a personal private reading, y'all know what to do. And... I love y'all. This one was a doozy. Peace.